Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Franklin, located in Williamson and Franklin County, on the 10th of April. 1863. In the beginning of April 1863, Confederate Command directed Confederate General Earl Van Dorn to leave his quarters in Spring Hill and scout out Franklin. The purpose was to determine if the Union forces had recaptured Franklin since the last battle. During this scouting operation, Confederate General Forrest Command was traveling along the Lewisburg Turnpike when they encountered Union pickets on April 10th. Confederate Colonel James Welborn Starnes, in charge of the 1st Cavalry Brigade of the 4th Tennessee Cavalry, was blindsided by the Union cavalry attacking his flanks and watched as Union Brigadier General David S. Stanley's brigade seemed to appear out of nowhere. What none of the Confederates had known was that Union General Stanley had traveled across the Big Harpeth River at Hughes Ford behind Confederate forces. While the Confederates were moving forward, Stanley and his men of the 4th U.S. Cavalry captured Confederate Captain Samuel L. Freeman and his Tennessee artillery. Seeing the situation unfold, the Confederates quickly turned and attacked the Union cavalry, attempting to dislodge the Union forces from the site of the Tennessee artillery. They were successful, but not before Union troops summarily executed Captain Freeman before retreating back across the river. Van Dorn determined that Union forces must be used in Franklin as its base of operation and had his men return to Spring Hill, where they could gather as much data as they could and assess the situation. Estimated losses were 100 Union casualties, including dead, wounded, and missing, while the Confederates themselves suffered 137 soldiers killed, wounded, missing or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.